Pipe rings and dry sites. Uh, broadcasts. Uh, it's February still. All right. Last things we're gonna do. Uh, going to uh, short messages and then going to uh, Q and A. Lessons. Here we go. Greetings. This is Mother Mary's energies. There is much, uh, yes, in your Afghanistan, as I've been healed, is a root of much of the difficulties on your planet. There is much black magic there that has not been fully understood. As yes, your Arab world is much of a a mystery. As you understand these mysteries, as you go into a in a spiritual development of it, kind of going out of your body, you can see it. Of course, most of your humans aren't. Basically, as more humans become more mystical, magician-like, wizard-like, more of these forces do not have a control over you. It's like the jinn. As they have a control over certain individuals, you can heal that when you further understand it. And of course, some humans are just allowing it to take control of them. That's going to change. Of course, your government systems are under that control too, a black magic that has to be healed. As you will start to see it more clearly, as it can't hide forever, as it's been around forever thousands of years, but their welcome is coming to an end, as some of you feel. So, and your energies. Greetings. We are the Andromedans. Yes, as much music in your air uh, for inner healing, for healing the inner child. As, yes, many souls here are not ready to see the full, your full reality. They look the other way, as many of you are looking towards where the problems are. And eventually humanity will not look, ignore it. Right now it's being much ignored. As they say, humans aren't ready. Many of you are becoming more ready. And there's, no, there's nothing to be afraid of for enlightenment's to come into your planet. Basically those that are running your planet to be seen. So you realize alien energies are always we we'll call it battle, but we have our connections. Uh, we have our our back and forth with different entities. <laughs> That's keeping your world hidden from its own truth. But many of you are wishing to know this truth, and it will come out. Even if people do not believe it, more of it's on its way. So we're happy to answer your questions whenever you're ready. Hey, greetings and Jarvidans. Blessings. And thank you for coming in. Uh, up first this evening, we have Emmy. Yes, Hello. Yes, I was just wondering if there's any messages for 
uh, my job situation? Well, yeah, yes, as you know, you're, you're doing a lot of thinking about your own self improvement, which is good. So, also, you have job improvement along with it, meaning that you'll have a better job than you had before. So, just you call it keep up your expectations. You are you are pulling in what you need. So jobs that you do not get, you didn't really need them to begin with. So the one that you're looking for, I believe it'd be I don't know if we'd call it a perfect fit, but a better fit than you've had in the past. What we're seeing. Okay. Um uh, that sounds great. And I'm just wondering if you have any other messages from anybody or anybody specifically from your collective? Are you healing a lot of Arcturian energies? There's a lot of Arcturians that got lost on this planet. Many of them are in power at this time as humans. Some are CEOs. Some are about going into details. Uh, and some of them you've already tapped into. Basically, you can say your QAnon is healing a lot of those energies. Basically, a lot of alien beings got lost here. And they know how to manipulate your society. So what you're connected to is to kind of keep an eye on them, but not necessarily release them from their contract because humans aren't allowing it because there's had much to learn from that. So we'll leave you with that. Blessings. Blessings. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Up next, we have Logan. Greetings. Yes, blessings. My first question tonight is, in our reality, it is t currently 2020. Mm. When do you think is the highest probability that the world will be ready for official first contact? Yeah, so the timelines constantly shift. Technically, it could be this year. Technically, it could be next year. But this year, you're uh, in the, the process of having a closer uh, connection than you had before. As for when it will occur, if it happens as you're not, it's up to your collective. Your collective can reject it, as it has in the past. <laughs> so it's getting closer, is all we can say at this time. You have to be big. Thank you. My second question is, are there any messages from my guides? I believe it's a good... Yes, continue with your studies. Uh, yes, you're very connected to... Andromeda. Uh, it's actually, you have had a lot of feline incarnations in Andromeda, but also canine. Um, a warrior race within the canines of dealings with the reptilian beings. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of within Andromeda that even been a fish being <laughs> in Andromeda. <laughs> uh, and it's been pretty decent incarnations from what we can see. Not what you would expect. Let's put it that way. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, blessings. Up next, we have Stephen. Hello, Andromedans. Yes, blessings. Blessings. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Much love. Um, I was wondering if you could uh, connect with my Andromedan uh, family uh, connections and just know a little more about. Uh, my energies there. Thank you. Uh, much of it is a feline uh, connection. Of course, there is a humanoid connection, but also the feline is still going through a lot of healing. Through, you know, a lot of the felines of Andromeda are protectors of Andromeda. So they've been a lot of hybrid beings have been created for various reasons. There's a lot of species that have not even contacted your world that are in animal form. So you're part of a, you can call it a more of like a protective squad. That's not probably the best word for it, but it's also very connected to Orion. So it's yes, basically strange looking beings that you see in your fiction, basically. But as a few human being, I feel like that's close enough to a humanoid. Uh, we can interact with human and uh, strange uh, aquatic beings and insectoid. So you kind of want to run in the middle. Some beings don't like humans, so so you pick the feline as a it's easier way to contact with one because there's, there's a lot of beings that don't want anything to do with with humans, <laughs> most of your kind. 
of your looks. A feeling they can tolerate. <laughs> All right, blessings. Sweet, sweet. Thank you. And uh, second, uh, is just uh, I'll leave it open. Uh, any any energies that wish to step forward and uh, uh, give me a message or anything. Thank you. Well, yeah, it's connected much to the, uh, the Syrians. As for yes, there's much being healed in your Middle East. As much histories are going to be revealed eventually. Also, in your current government, much eventually mysteries are being released there. As you know, there's a secret government situation going on there where you're in the process of releasing that. Now, the timing of that is still up in the air, but you are making progress. As for you can see through your elections, the ones that are major, you can kind of predict their outcome because your collective is talking to you who's going to win. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of get if you get an idea of that, you can kind of see where things are going on a secret government level of that, of that being opened eventually. You can tap into their timelines if you wish. Blessings. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we have Daria. Hey there, Andromeda. Thanks. I was going to say hello there, homies. So, um, so many questions, but I got two. So, uh, any messages uh, from you to me? Well, yes, you incarnated on a a war planet that was seemed to be impossible to awaken. Uh, as you know, as versions of the several versions of Earth, this is one of the one of the headstrong ones that try you know, does everything it can not to open itself up to other realities. That's why you are here. That's where others are here, basically just showing like the universe things can change, no matter what happens in between. Then, <laughs> so you are making progress. It just that's the idea. They make it look like you're not making progress when actually you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where we're feeling like we are superstars, but we're not doing anything. And they greet us in astral. They're like, yeah, I had the best day. No, I was just lying on my sofa. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but you're winning. Okay, cool. But okay. So any other messages for me? In my, from my, yeah, couchy, boring life here that you can like, your input on it. What do well, you yeah, see? You are healing trickster energies. You wonder why certain beings come into your life because you want to show, kind of put their energy back into their face, you can say. Um, that's one way of saying it. <laughs> um, so you wonder why you run into certain situations. Um, like your current personal life, that's a little bit different. But like, you know, certain ones that are in your life, they're just like, why is this person here? Why am I hearing about this? It's because they're brought to you for a reason because nobody else can deal with them. So, and you've been kind of following them around throughout time too. It's like, oh, you came back again. <laughs> so kind of like shove a lot of their stuff back to them. <laughs> Let's put it that way. That makes sense. This is very cryptic, but I think you understand. Yeah, I, I saw it on many platforms here, so uh, thank you. <laughs> but uh, it's cool. And, uh, uh, thank yeah, you, and here. have a nice yeah. channeling. Yes, blessings. Blessings. Okay, um, next we have Marvin's questions. He asked me to read those for him. His first question, greetings. I would like you to communicate a message to those who deal with affairs like ETs, like the MIB, the movie, or Stargate, that are good. Um, I would like a job interview uh, with them, and I was wondering if there's a response from any of these groups that are aware of my uh, message for me. Well, I believe you're already working with them. He just doesn't realize it. He kind of forgot. That's kind of the gag of the whole thing. He's already working with them all. He's just, you know... You know, he's just remembering it. So he's going from a human perspective. When he goes into a, a more astral perspective, you see he's already connected to all of them. He just, a lot of those memories have been erased because of his incarnation, so he can ask those memories to come back. So 
Yes, he does a lot of job recruiting for other entities. I guess even at MIB, if you if that's something he really wants to do. Uh, but yes, there is an awakening going on with him at this time, changing a lot of alien idea systems, even with the aliens themselves. That humans aren't a lost cause. Some being well, being alien beings, I don't even understand humans half the time anyway. <laughs> that's nice. Thank you. Um, his second question. He says, I would like to send a message out to my space council, love and peace. I would like a response on five of them of when I said that is there a message in my slang for me if they're willing to tell them no cut and dry? Let's what is he asking exactly? He's asking for us for anything. I would like to send a message out to my space council, love and peace. I would like a response on five of them. I'm not sure. It seems kind of cryptic in his question. Yes, we just have to leave that one for them. <laughs> They're not saying anything to us at this time. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Thank you. Blessings. Yes. Blessings. Uh, up next, we have Tristan. Greetings. Yes. Blessings to you. Thank you. Um, I want help me understand how, as we awakened everything. Um, as we're what we're doing in astral and there are our whole beings <clears throat> as we bring it down into earth which doesn't it doesn't fit very well do we just get will our memories will we remember more and more will will be aware of more what's going on it'll there'll be less of a uh a disconnect between them over Yes, and over the next few years, yes. This, yeah, you, because you, the physical is so important right now. Um, but yes, you get what you need for the physical reality. And over the next few years, it'll feel more less physical, you can say. So you do have astral self that's doing all the astral work. So just, you know, focus on this reality where you can, what you're allowed to receive. Mm. So. Yeah, this is the disconnect, but it's kind of like you make it, you know, it's the connected. <laughs> the connection will show up anyway. Yes, it's, I mean, yeah. it's there. It's just not remembered. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, and um, any messages? Well, yes. Well, your location where you live, you bring a heart energy, the heart of where you live comes through you. Like a welcome vibration, which uh, heals much of the earth itself through Mother Gaia. Even Mother Gaia asks you for assistance. I believe she asks you to come to this to this world. She needs more heart set people here. Because oh. yes, there's a battle here. And you're here to heal the heart of the battle. Like, wound, those that are wounded, you're there to heal uh, them. You know, those that are spiritually wounded, and you're becoming more neutral too, from what we see. I think you're already. Mm -hmm. But yes, you're here to heal the wounded that are uh, assisting your planet this time. And yourself, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's not just about everybody. It's about you, too. Yes. Yes. Much it's more about me. <laughs> you bring in, yeah, you are bringing astral in more than you might realize. You just don't see it. But it's it's quite, it's very much there. So it, it is bringing, it is bringing it down here rather than us going up there. That's... Well, yeah, astral is working through you right now as you speak. Oh, okay, yes. so it's like you are astral, you could say. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. Hey, very cool. Up next, we have Colin. Greetings, and drama dudes. Yeah. This is Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Um, first question, my. Um, mentor had a stroke uh right in front of me yesterday <clears throat> it was just a really tough thing to see and be a part of and i'm wondering if there's any messages around that event well you know there's the timing of it that you were there for assistance there so it was going to happen no matter what i feel like he needed he needed a disconnect from his body too like a rest so it's something he had to do in astral too. He had to disconnect from his body. It needed mm -hmm. to. It's like he's going through a, a reset. 
Mm. So it's between him and the universe and not really giving us a full detail of it. <laughs> but he, he definitely asked for you to be there from what we're seeing. He was is, there any, and you would understand him better than most people. Okay. Can, was there any, any thing for me in that? Well, he kept beings from attacking him, uh, okay. trying to interfere with his vibration. So he kind of protected him during that. Okay. A, a message for you on that? They're not really saying anything at this moment. I believe there's something, but they're not saying anything. Okay. Um, cool. And then I'm wondering if there's any messages from you in your collective there. Well, yes, to show the timeline change also that event. It's kind of fast forward your connection to when it's needed. Um, but it won't show itself too much. You know, you'll get messages about his condition if you truly feel like you need it. Also messages about family members, uh, romance, whatever you need. Well, uh, if you truly need it, it will come. Now, what that will be is <laughs> that's up to the spirit being what they're going to give you, but if they feel like you need it, it'll come. Especially in this critical, critical time. Like, it's, like your mentor's health, that'll come as a message and it'll be fine overall. Okay. So, okay. So it, it's going to be a little bit shaken up for a while. Um, but he'll be back. You just have to go slower up. That's all we're saying. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting to. All right. Thanks, Andromedans. Appreciate it. Okay, blessings. Up next, we have Lucy. Lucy, you there? Her audio may not be working. I see she's not muted, but I can't hear anything. No, not working. Work. Well, um, Lucy seems to have technical issues each week, so um, for the time being, we'll uh, skip Lucy and come back to her. Uh, up next, we have James. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, so some people in this group and watching have told me that the drama is a kind of a, it's got a lot of cartoon realities. Like, can you tell me more about that and why that is? Uh, can you explain that a bit more clearly for us? <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, some people uh, told me that this, like in dramas, where they got like a uh, cartoon rally is like animated, I guess. Oh, yes. I mean, yeah, it's like He Man, stuff like that. We do appear through your television. Yeah, He Man, She Ra is a good example. Uh, that's part of our society. Yes, that's that's part of our upbringing. We're just. The reason for that is to show magic. You kind of remember your society of the magic in your in your world. Even some of your Star Wars is connected to us, to a degree. So, yes, it is a part of of. And notice that a lot of those cartoons are for children too. So, it just kind of makes them a little bit more comfortable while they're here. Even your uh, your turtle, oh, your ninja turtles are from Andromeda, also. <laughs> they're not exactly like that, but they're. They're not ninjas. Well, some of them can be, I guess, but they are kind of like a turtle gang, yeah, or turtle turtle group, you could say. So yes, this is for uh, of healing chakra healings too. It's messages, but also just so they have a familiarity when they're here. <laughs> it's one way. Also, we come through music too. Let's see. Uh, you tell me a. Uh... Uh, any messages from herself or Archangel Ariel or any anyone else I got from Andrana? I believe this is yes, yeah, so connected to past connections you've had of you're healing a lot of your ocean realities still, your past lives of being a ocean being of various levels. Of yes, you did know Poseidon, the Greek uh, god, you didn't agree with him. Uh, we were very close to him in the past. 
as some of these beings use the oceans to manipulate society. And he did what you could to heal it. So they're not giving me a full detail of it, but you're going, yeah, you just kind of like you're, you're giving little bits of information of, for your own healing here. But yes, you're very connected to Agartha too. That will, Agartha connections, yes, they're being very cryptic, right? They're holding a lot back, actually. <laughs> Agarthian connections, kind of a frustration with the Agarthian, Agarthians have with the humans. You're very much part of that because the humans kind of had a disconnect. Once Agarthians and humans were all interacting, and then there was a disconnect due to a lot of the, the Greek gods of your past. They kind of cut that connection down. And you were there during that time period. That's nice. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Uh, there's a lot of information packed in there. Mm. Um, well, I'll try Lucy one more time. Mm. Now what's going on? You see... Well, I think Lucy's just going to have to post her, her question, and I'll read it for her. Um, so for the time being, we'll move on to Retro. Hello. Yes, greetings. Uh, hi. Um, so I had a, I was watching a documentary about the uh, dairy industry, and I was wondering, like, how did humans kind of get into consuming uh, milk from other animals? This is during your ancient times. It was just a way to, uh, like, a quick way to get healthy, basically, in some ways. It was just a, it was a way of, um, it was comfort food, you can say. But there was a, a lack of food around. Dairy was one way of, uh, like, a, a special need. Of course, many are allergic to a lot of dairy products due to, because okay. dairy wasn't exactly healthy back then. <laughs> so it's more of a past life than it is actual, you know. That's why they're allergic to it. Is there uh, it, is that common across any different uh, species, or is it fairly rare? Of being of being allergic. Consuming, uh, no, consuming uh, dairy products. Of the uh, dairy yeah, your your grays are very much allergic to it. So you can say uh, allergic to a lot of your food, actually. <laughs> Meats definitely. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Beef, beef definitely. Chicken, they can probably live with that, mm -hmm. but beef, they can't do that. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, some some grays are a little bit, yeah, or yeah, the dairy doesn't really sit, sit too well with them. <clears throat> Actually, that brings up another question for me. Um, I, speaking of like meat products, and I know how the data, a uh, lot of data lifetimes, mm -hmm. I had sort of a um, very strong reaction, kind of like how some people react to needles mm -hmm. when it comes to like meat. With the topic of meat, um, does it come from the data lifetime? Like needles to yourself or needles to the meat? No, I'm not thinking like an example. Like, you know, some people people faint when they see blood or needles. Mm -hmm. I have a strange reaction that's similar to that when it comes to um, different kind of meat products. Yes. Or is that a data thing? Yeah, that's or a little bit complicated. Yeah, that has a lot to do with human, more like human tissue of. Mm -hmm. Kind of seeing internals of humans and all that. Uh, some some animals here were weaponized in their past. For oh yeah, stuff like that. I believe also you just had yeah you gotten yeah you you've been um, sick from meat in your past too as a human on this mm. world. That's a lot to do. That's probably the number one of it. You just got disease from a from an animal that you saw raw meat. And, hey, that looks good. Then you ate it and then got sick and I don't believe you survived mm. that long. That. Yeah. <laughs> so it was mostly, I believe mm. that's the root of it. Mm. Okay. So yeah, when you see it, it's like, no, you always get traumatized. Like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> that makes yeah, sense. Okay. That, that's, what, that's what we're seeing where the root of that is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's right, doing so fine, and I'm sitting here and sick. <laughs> well, everybody, yeah. everybody wasn't fine, but either way. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you. Yes, blessings. Okay, third time's a charm. We'll try Lucy one last time. If her audio isn't working, I'll just read her question for her. 
Can you hear me now? There we go. All right. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Andromeda, and greetings. Yes. I would like to know throughout all this turmoil that's happening in media frenzy, mm. why suddenly is it, is it the moon, the, the first uh, blood moon, uh, you know, whatever, largest moon? Why am I having such instant manifestations? I have to really, really watch what I'm thinking. What's going on with that? Well, you're more connected to your higher self. You're connected more to your spiritual self. So, does that, yeah, so it's like be careful what you wish for. That it, <laughs> exactly. And it, it, it's really, really hard because I just. <laughs> I'm not used to doing that. And yeah, I guess this is practice time or something. Yes. It's, yes. It's once again with that power, the, you know, some people want it. And as you can tell, it's not as easy as, as it sounds. <laughs> no, it's, it's also kind of frightening mm -hmm. because you don't really mean things sometimes. Yes. And then, oops. But. Right. <clears throat> So, my second question is, I had given up on my little piece of the pie that I want, but it actually seems like things are moving the way they need to. I mean, I know it's there, I can see it and feel it, and I, I think it, it's not out of reach. I, I, it's just strange. What, yeah. Do you have any... Yes, yes it's just time. It's just yes, it's just it's just patience with it. Yes, it's it's like moving a. You're talking about move, correct? Yes. Yes, you're just. It's just something that takes. That's a big situation there. So it's so it takes time to manifest. That's all. <laughs> so or, now, you, now you feel it moving. I I do under at all complete adverse circumstances. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering. Is this manifesting thing going to just stay with me, or is this just like a glitch? It'll stay with you as long as you need it without giving me a full in indication. Just enjoy it while you got it. Let's put it that way. Or be careful while you got that it. That too, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Blessings. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, we have Dragon. Hello, how are you doing? Yes, doing well. I have a question about what it, what exactly uh, Andromedans mean, because there's, I think there's an Andromedan uh, um, part of our galaxy, like yes. the part of our galaxy that points towards Andromeda, but of course there's Andromeda galaxy, which is off a little, if you look towards Andromeda galaxy from Earth at this time, it's a little off the um the plane of our galaxy you know, you just kind of towards the edge of it uh which means there's really compared there's still a lot of stars in that direction in the milky way but comparatively speaking versus looking at the center there's a lot less stars so i was wondering are you from andromeda galaxy itself or yes we're from the, the galaxy itself, but we also okay. connect to all andromeda energy so we're part of all of it. Cool. So, um, it, I wonder if I'm, so I'm I uh, came to the Milky Way from Andromeda, so I'm wondering if I'm part of the collective that I'm talking to right now. Uh, yes. Well, we can connect to the collective. We're also, very. We're also very connected to the, the Sasquatch energies. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. <laughs> yes, that's connected to Andromeda also. So this this life I don't have that much body hair. Yes. So. That's yeah, it's kind of like a energy you don't believe connect to very often. <laughs> um but also you connect to uh, the amphibians. So cool. Uh, and they those energies are from Andromeda too? Oh yes. Mm. I I think I came in here as a dragon from Andromeda. Uh a dragon Andromedan. Yes, you have a, a accumulation of different energies. A lot of it is a zeta energy too so you have a combination of many energies the dragon brings in a great deal you came through a gartha 
So you came from Andromeda, yes, but through a Garthen. So you kind of brought everybody. Okay. Um, I That's guess like, uh, oh, my second question is, do you have any messages for me? Well, one of the reasons why you can go out of body and all that is because of all your connections that you brought with you. If you kind of wanted to bring, uh, it's kind of like a computer server room or you like brought your own Google, <laughs> you can say. You brought your own s system, <laughs> you can say. We're just kind of humanizing it a little bit for you. Uh, yeah, you kind of like brought your own mothership with you. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's a better way of transitioning. <laughs> how's, how's it doing? It's doing well. It's frustrating with this Earth's energy, as you know, because it's not transcend. It's not transitioning as it could. It's backtracking a lot. It has a lot to do with the pol politician energies, but also human. It just humanity just likes being screwed with. It uh, likes uh, humanity. I think uh, needs to see its hmm? its darkness. I think yes. Yeah. It likes making the wrong decision and the right decision. Darkness is making its last stand. Um, yeah. I had a realization that uh, I told my mothership not to do anything. I tell it in this incarnation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yes. You see that? Yes. Yes. It is. Now it that is. I know that, maybe I can get a, get around that. Yeah, you work, yes, you can work with that. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, much love. Blessings. Yeah, blessings. Up next, I have Omran's questions. Yeah, yeah, I'll read those for him. His first question, is there anything you can pick up from my guides to me? That is healing Illuminati energies. He is, yes, a member of them at one time in his past, but it remembers that as a magician energy. It did much black magic for him in the past, but he's healing that at this time. So he's, he's part of all energies. That, and he's just curious. So in this world, he's making amends and t kind of teaching humanity it can do uh, something different. So he's always connected to archangels, as he knows, and many different beings. Because uh, he taught a lot of the Ascended Masters a great deal. He just doesn't remember it. They're not saying who they are at this time. That's nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, the second question. Uh, for not so long ago, I came out of my body, but I stayed in my bed as a spirit. I heard a lot of wolves howling repeatedly around my home. I often tend to dream of wolves, but why did I hear these wolves when I was out of body? I believe they were kind of like werewolf being kind of, I won't call them a warning, but they were just watching. They were like sacred wolves. They weren't they were, they were wolves that don't really show themselves very often. They're not really saying what they were up to, but you were surprised you were uh, seen by them. They're not saying they're astral wolves. They're not really saying where they came from. What do we do with that? Blessings. Okay, blessings. Up next, we have Liz. Hello. Yes, greetings. Greetings. So I had a nightmare a um, couple of nights ago. I, mm -hmm. I was, I felt like attacked or mm -hmm. uneasy for a couple of days before that. And um, could you tell me anything? What's going on? So, uh, yes, a reptilian retaliation. Uh, things aren't going their way. Notice it's by a time of election. That was recent. Mm -hmm. So humanity's consciousness is not as controlled as they thought it was. It is releasing slowly from the control system. So you can say you won a war. Mm -hmm. won a war they're not really showing it exactly, but he did he did win one. And they Yeah. So that doesn't mean it's gonna continue on, but it's hard to say at this time. But they lost, let's put that one. <laughs> yes, yes. And th so the attack was like, ooh, why did it attack me? Or where is. Well, because. Well, it's to set you off your course, kind of make you feel you all, you know, I believe you're kind of out of it for a couple of days after that, or kind of, you know, it kind of, you know, yeah, it was there to startle you. Hmm. 
Well, what happened with the election situation? You're very much involved with it. Of the more of the truth coming through, let's put it that way. It is coming through. It's just not being seen on your reality that clearly, but it is happening. Mm-hmm. It's working behind the scenes. Let's put it that way. Oh, I see. So that's connected to my yes. mission on the other side. Yes, here. correct. That's what it's about. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Uh, a blessed this evening is me. Thank you again for coming in. Blessings. Um, I'm just uh, wondering if you maybe you could scan my energy field and um, address, bring to my awareness anything that's most pertinent at this moment. Well, you're healing a lot of Arcturian energies within yourself, connecting you to higher dimensions of um, multiple realities where you're part of Earths that have transitioned. They're part of many Earths that are in a transitional, the spiritual transitional direction, which makes this world so frustrating because you're not seeing it happen here, but seeing it in other realities. Mm. Well, but that does not mean it's going to, sometimes you get that anger of this reality kind of pushes this one along. Mm. <laughs> so. Is that the anger that I'm holding on to right now that, you know, because like, I get a feeling like there's a repeated theme of my Genghis Khan um, connection uh, that doesn't seem to be going away. It seems to be brought to my attention every week for some reason. Is there something there with anger that needs to be reconciled? It'll, it'll be released when it needs to. It's it's a different anger than it was back then. It's used basically to heal the earth than to cause difficulty here. So it's it's basically here. It's moving things along. It's just yeah. That's what I felt from it. Yeah. Like it was a necessary yeah. purging kind of exactly right. You need that kind of passion to. That's why you are located where you need to. This is why you see what you see. Kind of things that frustrate you that need to be healed, basically. So there's just many layers of that needs to be healed within the earth. Mm. Yeah. Anything going forward and. In- you know, as far as my participation in that effort? It'll get more. I believe your dreams will open up more. If they have not, yeah. they will. And you'll see more of your what you're working on. I believe they keep a lot of it kind of quiet. Right. Uh, but in time, things, eventually the timeline will come for alien, you know, descent, like connecting to your Earth. If you're really coming in, you might not see them physically, but their energies are going to definitely increase. And that's when you say, like, I, I know they're here, I can feel them, and then they'll show up. So mm. that's what you're all working on at this time. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, blessings and uh, much love to you and uh, everyone over in Andromeda. Yes, blessings to you and your journeys here. All right. All right, much other one. Awesome. 